Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 12th of October. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Chalice, Resolute Mining, Toro Energy, Smart Group and Grey Mining. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but our best stock tips come out every Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report. So make sure you are getting that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, we'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is in portfolio management. So if you'd like to have a trading account with me, please let me know. And all the advice here is general only. So we've got the daily chart here of Chalice. Obviously it's fallen quite a bit um, since only about six months ago. Um, looking at what it's done most recently, starting to level out, um, which is a positive. And if we look at the um, sort of the RSI, obviously it's been a bit oversold, but what I'm interested in seeing is sort of from this point onwards, which was the lowest point, it's trended higher while the price trended lower. So that's known as bullish divergence and now it's moving out of an oversold condition. So look, decent chance it can bounce here. Um, it's hard to know whether we're just gonna get a small bounce or something more substantial because clearly there's a lot of resistance along the way um, with all these previous um, trapped buyers. Okay, resolution. So we've had this um, sort of consolidation here, but most recently what I've noticed is a bounce so off the low, uh, and then it's formed a pennant, so basically consolidating that move. And then a few days ago we had a breakout and volume started to pick up. So um, yeah, basically this one does look like it wants to head higher from here. Okay, Toro Energy, so look, bit hard to get a read here on the daily chart because it's you know, trading around a cent. Um, but clearly there's a lot of volume that's come in um, since September on the way up. Um, if we move to a weekly chart where it's a bit easier, it does look like we've got this sort of base here and then we could see all of this volume leading to a, leading to a breakout of that base. So if this breakout can stick, I guess if it can you know, pretty much close at 12 cents or above, uh, sorry, 1.2 cents or above for the week, then yeah, you, I mean, you could get some sort of s substantial upside from here as we've seen before when it rallies um, on good volume. Okay, smart group. So just looking at the daily chart, I mean, since late last year, it's, well, late last year, it got itself into a pretty nice uptrend, um, but it does look like that that trend is over. So the first warning sign was here in August. So, you know, basically a drop out of the trend um, and where we've had sort of, you know, very small uh, trading ranges, you know, big trading range like that. So a bit of a warning sign. And then as we could see, it's failed to, to rally on from here. So it's tried to recover, but just as it got to that gap, it's been sold off and has continued to slide. So, you know, further evidence that this you know, we've got a top here that trends over and a bit of risk to the downside now. Okay, finally, DeGray. Um, I mean, most recently we could see you know, big volume, big bounce off the lows. So all of that looks good. But if we just have a bit more of a look at the previous price action, to me, this looks like a, a head and shoulders top. So you've got Yeah, the breakdown here, it's tried to rally back up, but what you'll notice is it's rejected off that old neckline. So, you know, potentially it's, um, you know, going to turn around and just continue heading south from here. So I think it's just worth worth watching if, you, if it's one you're looking to buy. I'd want to see it back above this line. Um, it needs to recover that. Otherwise, we're just getting a rejection of the old support level and it will continue lower. Okay, well that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through and I'll try to cover it next Thursday.